Hello everyone, today I got BT Smart Hub which is the internet router. I used to have Sky broadband before, this is the one. The problem is in my area is very slow, that's why I changed it. Now I'm going to show you how to install it. It's very straightforward and simple method to do that. It's like ordinary um, broadband, home broadband setup. Okay, so first we're going to open it. And this is the actual motor. It has really, really good transmission capacity. The range is very high. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about the, um, the more details about the configuration and a lot of other things and features. I'm going to talk about how to install it. It's very simple. Okay, the thing is, uh, it's a little bit uh, different than others. The reason is, not every single property has same kinds of phone socket connection. Example, we can see in these pictures, in these pictures, there are three kinds of um, master socket, okay. Some houses, they go look like that. So, the setup would be specific for that one in one method. There is another t type of micro, uh, sorry, um, master socket where it has two kinds of port. One is at the bottom, which is for telephone, on the top for broadband connection. And then other one is called single master socket. So this is also has different uh, procedure to connect and get the internet connection. Okay. So now today we're going to see which one we have and how to connect it. First of all, we're going to see what is in the box here. Yeah? This is the actual router, the device. Here is the booklet so we can get the user guides, how to control it and how to set it up and all the other basic features in there. And then in here we can see this is called micro filter. Somebody call ADSL filter as well. Okay, so this one goes to the main master socket. Okay, we'll show you how. This is called RJ45 or CAT5 cable. If you have any uh, device that you need internet, no wireless facilities to connect it with wire directly, then you need this cable, okay. And then there is another one. This is called ethernet cable. This cable we needed for the connection as well. And this is the one is DC adapter so we need that to power up the actual actual router okay this one has two parts so okay, we need to connect it here this is designed for UK that's why three things in here so you know how to connect it uh, how to put it together okay so let me show you again once again Okay, so hold it like that, <coughs> just slide in, push it a little bit harder, it would make a click noise and locked into it. Okay, now we're going to go to next to the uh, master socket because everything is there, everything is almost ready. We need to find the master socket to connect the ADSL. From ADSL, one of the cable will go to... The router, another cable for telephone will go to the telephone box or telephone if you have, okay, cordless handset or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll go to next to the my, uh, master socket and then we'll show you how to do that. By then, please stay with me. Sorry, the place is a bit dirty because it was uh, in the gap. We did not get a chance to clean it. Anyway. Let's go to the point. As you can see, there is only one single connector master socket. So it's called single connector master socket. And the procedure to get connection from here, we need first of all this micro filter, which is supplied with the router, with the BT hub. So you're going to connect it. Okay, it goes in that way. If you make a mistake, that's not a problem because it's not going to go in anyway. So I'm going to try in right way and push it through. 
it will make a click noise also locked now as you can see here are two connection one is called adsl module so the ethernet cable will go there and this is also supplied already with the home hub okay this is the one sorry i'm using my both hand one for the phone to record the video and on the hand to connect so please consider if there is any shakes or lags in here okay so we're gonna connect it in here yes done i'm not gonna connect my phone at this moment because this is not mandatory to do that okay So for master socket, the connection is that much we needed. We already done it, so we'll go back to the router again. So now, we're next to the box because we connected the micro filter already. So this is the other end of the Ethernet cable. It goes back of the router. It says here broadband, so we need to connect it here. And then <coughs> okay now we need to power up the broadband sorry uh, my another hand is very busy okay so is power here so connect it okay it's direct to the main socket and there is the off and on button once we connect in there we need to click in here yes okay so the green light already came up it should be turned into blue Okay, so that's why it's after a few minutes a blue light will show you your hub is ready. This is now ready because my connection should begin after the midnight as we have the contract from the 22nd of April. It's still it's 20, that's the reason why it's not turning into blue but anyway that's all it's very straightforward hopefully it, the video would help you how to set up your bt hub if any problem you can contact to your network provider or you can leave a comment below thank you so much thanks for watching bye for now